Call of Duty is a video game that is constantly changing. Every single year that we get a game, it gets updates, new weapons, and the game that you get at launch can be completely different than the game at the end of the year. And one of the biggest changes throughout the year is the weapons. They're getting patched, they're adding new ones, and that is why a couple of times a year, I like to make the top five weapon in the game videos to keep you guys updated and to keep you at the top of your game. Recently, we got a pretty big buff to a lot of the SMGs in the game, so I thought I would make a video addressing what are the recent best weapons in the game as of today. Now, on top of me telling you what my top five weapons are, I also want to hear what you guys think are the top five weapons in the game. What are your five go-to weapons if you have to pick them? Let me know down in the comments below, and I'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say. And just a reminder that the list that I'm putting together today are my top five weapons. Feel free to disagree with them down in the comments below as well. Let me know why you like them, why you don't like them, and that kind of thing. Now, I am going to cheat a little bit because in this list, we are going to be starting with an honorable mention, and that honorable mention is the Switchblade. Now, the reason why I'm putting this one on the list is because in the last patch, this is by far the most improved weapon. I do not think it is one of the top five weapons in the game, but it is actually pretty damn close. At short range, it is one of the best weapons in the game. In fact, you may not know this, but the Switchblade is actually better than the SOG 9mm up close. The only downside to the Switchblade is it has a lot more recoil than the SOG 9mm. Now, the real reason stat-wise why the Switchblade is actually better than the SOG is not the weapon itself, it's actually the attachments that are available for it. Now, for each weapon we talk about today, I am going to give you the class setup that I use and I believe is the best class setup for it, and you can kind of make a variant off that if you do enjoy it. But as far as this weapon goes, the two attachments that really make this thing amazing is Rapid Fire 1 and Rapid Fire 2. It really ups the fire rate to the next level, and that is really what makes it better than the SOG 9mm. However, the class that I use on this weapon is what you are seeing here on screen. So, I don't use any optics on this weapon. I do use Rapid Fire 1, Rapid Fire 2, Grip to counter some of that recoil that we were talking about before and finally quick draw but if you don't like quick draw this could also be replaced by stock if you like strafing a little bit more now really the only downside to this weapon is its recoil it has a lot more recoil than the SOG so out of mid range you're not gonna really be able to kill too many people so if you see someone at long range just kind of try to avoid them and get to a section of the map that's more close range that is the really big downside to this weapon, is that at long range, you are at a massive disadvantage simply because of that recoil. Now, moving on to the actual top five list, I think a lot of people are going to be surprised by the first weapon on this list. That is the Tiger Shark LMG. This is the newest weapon to be added to the game during Operation Spectre Rising, and I think a lot of people don't know how powerful this weapon is simply because they haven't unlocked it yet. It's unlocked at level 50, and this, in my opinion, is the best LMG in the game. No, you are not hearing me wrong, better than the Titan. You see, this weapon has the exact same damage as the Titan, however, it has a faster fire rate at 500 RPM, which means that the Tiger Shark actually has a better time to kill at almost every single range in the game, which is absolutely insane because I thought the Titan was a little bit overpowered before this. Now, the downside to the Tiger Shark is it simply has more recoil than the Titan does, and it doesn't have a quick draw attachment, which is a big positive for the Titan. Now, on top of this, the Tiger Shark only has a 40-round magazine. However, it has a really fast reload time, which is almost on par with the assault rifles in this game, which means this is an LMG you can almost use like an assault rifle, which creates for a really interesting type of weapon. Now, as far as the class setup that I use here, you gotta have a look at the attachments, because normally high caliber would be a must on this weapon, but on the Tiger Shark, it doesn't really make a difference, because you need actually two headshots with high caliber to reduce the bullets to kill, so that's kind of uncommon. So, the things that I use are, first of all, a red dot sight, because I really don't like the iron sights on this weapon, fast mags, because I play aggressive, and reducing that reload time to almost exactly a second is very, very good for an LMG. On top of that, grip, because like I mentioned, this weapon has a little bit higher of a recoil so if you use grip it kind of puts it more in line with the titan and finally stock so i can stray fire stock 2 is also available and if you're using this almost more as a longer range weapon you can replace the fast mags with stock 2 but this is what i like here personally up next coming in at number four we've got a weapon that actually kind of sucks 
without attachments. However, with attachments is absolutely godly. So this weapon we're talking about is of course the Mog 12. This weapon was on my last top five weapons list. It hasn't changed since then and it is still absolutely godly. Now we're going to actually start with the class setup for this one. So basically for this one, you're going to use long barrel, barrel choke and dragon's breath, which is the weapons operator mod. This makes it so you almost always get a one shot kill with this weapon. And if you don't, the dragon's breath will probably take care of your enemies this is honestly up close the best weapon in the game there's really nothing that can beat it it is ridiculously ridiculously good now oddly this is a weapon that i really would guess is probably going to get nerfed but i don't really know the reason why i say that is because whenever i play in a lobby with this weapon I start using it and then everyone in the lobby is using it by the end of the game because really the only way to counter it is by actually using it because it kills people so damn quickly. Definitely the best weapon at short range. So on a map like Arsenal Sandstorm, like you're seeing here, it absolutely shreds. Now, as far as why it's only number four on the list, it's simply because it can't kill people at medium or long range. It's only a short range weapon. However, a weapon that can kill at long range is our number three weapon, the KN-57. Now, there's actually going to be two weapons at number three. I know I'm cheating. Should be called the top six weapons. But you'll see why I group these two weapons together. So, the KN-57, out of all of the weapons on this list, is, in my opinion, the most consistent weapon out of all of them. If you want a weapon that you're able to use on any single map and do well with, this is the weapon for you. Out of all of the assault rifles, it has the best time to kill up close and on top of that even at long range it has pretty low recoil that you are still able to pick people off and as far as what class setup I use, I use an elo sight. The iron sights honestly on this weapon aren't bad. I just find I have an extra slot in this class so I can put the elo on it to make my aim a little bit more accurate. Rapid fire to me on this weapon is a must. This is what makes it really, really good from just an average weapon to a good weapon. On top of this, I use the grip because like I said, this weapon can be really accurate and the grip really makes that happen. And finally, stock. I also think stock is absolutely necessary on this weapon to help you stray fire and win those gunfights. So like I said, the can 57 is really consistent you're always getting the same thing out of it and it has a really really incredible time to kill up close however it doesn't have the best time to kill out of all of the assault rifles at any range that goes to the other weapon that I'm putting at third place, the Rampart. Now, the Rampart is less consistent because this weapon relies on two attachments, which is High Caliber 1 and High Caliber 2. Speaking of which, my class setup is really, really simple for the Rampart. I use a Red Dot Sight, High Cal 1, High Cal 2, and Grip to keep me more accurate. Now, the reason why I say that this weapon is less consistent is because it relies on you getting upper body shots. If you don't hit upper body shots, shots, the time to kill on this weapon is very slow. In fact, the KN-57 destroys it in that situation. However, if you are hitting upper body shots, the Rampart knocks the KN-57 out of the water. So if your aim is a little bit better, the Rampart is the weapon for you. If you want a more consistent weapon where aim isn't so much of a factor, the KN-57 is for you. But either way, both of these weapons are incredible and in my opinion, my two favorite assault rifles. Up next at number two, this is a weapon that you guys probably should have seen coming if you followed the channel for a while this has been on every single top five weapon list for black ops 4 that i have created and that of course is the auger the auger has been my favorite weapon since the launch of the game and honestly it just keeps getting better in a recent patch they made it so it has a faster fire rate and with the class setup of high caliber one high caliber two and i like fmj just in case your enemies are using body armor it helps out with that you of course can use something else other than fmj that's just what i like now as far as this weapon it's theoretical time to kill assuming you hit the upper body you are going to have a time to kill of 0.166 seconds this is half of that of the average weapon in black ops 4 that is how good this weapon is and that is at any range in the game this weapon is an absolute powerhouse when you use it with high caliber 1 and high caliber 2 and you're going to see that consistently throughout this video that high caliber is an incredibly powerful attachment and most of the time when it's available you should use it the one circumstance where you shouldn't is with the tiger shark however the the auger it's been there for me since the launch of the game and it seems like it's going to consistently be one of the best weapons in the game and on this list it is number two 
But the question is, if I love this weapon so much, what is possibly at number one? The number one weapon is absolutely the Daemon. The Daemon is so insanely good. It's good at short range. It's even good at long range. It is insane how good this weapon is. It has an incredibly fast fire rate with a decent damage and little to no recoil. And on top of that, it has really good attachments that you can use with it. Now, in the SMG buff that we recently got in Black Ops 4, the Daemon actually got one of the biggest buffs, which is weird because previous to that buff, I already thought the daemon was one of if not the best smg so honestly the daemon is an absolute force to be reckoned with as far as what class i use with this weapon it was actually a relatively hard decision what to use on this because when you look at the attachments for this weapon you can see that there are a ton of good ones you got two high calibers you got a rapid fire hybrid mags fast mags and even the steady grip now the thing that i decided to go with was the elo i don't really like the iron sights for this gun so i really like the elo on there also if someone's at long range this weapon has low enough recoil that you can pick them off and the elo really helps me out with that on top of that high caliber one high caliber two this improves the time to kill i think both of these are necessary attachments on this weapon as far as your third attachment though i chose hybrid mags however fast mags and even rapid fire are viable i find rapid fire is just a a little bit overkill simply because it already has a really good fire rate you don't really need to make it better and all rapid fire does on this is decrease the burst delay which is already really really low the reason why i chose hybrid mags is because it makes it so you reload faster and have more bullets and i do run out of bullets pretty quickly with this weapon that's why i generally try to play as crash when i use the daemon so i can refill my ammo but all in all this weapon is just an all-around beast whether the guy is standing right in front of you or across the entire map you are able to pick off your enemies with ease with the daemon and i wouldn't be surprised to see this one get nerfed soon down the road but at the same time they just gave it a massive buff and i don't really know why but ladies and gentlemen those are my top 10 weapons in black ops 4 as i said before if you disagree with me feel free to let me know down in the comments let me know what you think of my top five list also if you enjoyed the video i'd really do appreciate it if you hit that like button and if you're new to the channel and like what you see the best way to stay up to date on all my videos is make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you have notifications turned on but guys i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and until next time peace out we are we are reaching for the stars but we're